Sergeant of Arms, who did it? Well, they made sure the weapons were clean. Even for the girls? The girls have weapons? Mm. They made sure that things were in their proper places. And uh, just making sure you turned up for different uh, gang brawls, I suppose. You, you, you'd you hear that somebody was um, looking after, you'd hear somebody was looking, um, an opposition was coming into town and you'd all gather for it. You knew where to go. And so you had to make sure that, you know, the the gears, the weapons, the, the pieces were ready and operative, otherwise, <laughs> otherwise I wouldn't be giving this interview today. <laughs> yeah. uh, the woman, woman were involved in the board, is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, quite a lot. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, quite a lot. Mm. <laughs> well, it depends. It depends on the weather. It depends on a lot of things. It depends on the day the news you get for the day, the mood, the atmosphere. Um, depends on what drug you're taking at the time. Um, depends on if you had something against somebody and that person walks in your door, in the door that you're, the pub that you're drinking in at the time. It depends on a lot of things. Yeah, it depends on how many men strong you are. It depends on, well, shall I prove myself because there's nobody here? Uh, yeah. Different praises and different chapters of different ra rules and regulations, you know? Uh, but my, my was uh, more focused around the boys, making sure that they were all right. Mm. Financially, um, yeah, being there to help them. Why was that? Because um, I admired them for being there for us. Physically, if anything went down, the boys were always there for us. And um, the least I could do was get the girls to work. You know, escort agency. Um, cleaning jobs, cleaning jobs in places that were rich people area. Not ripping them off or anything, but you know you were going to get well paid, and so that came into the trust, the girls' trust club. And so what went into the girls' trust club? I felt that the boys needed. They were going to a tangi in another town. Yeah, a fun get a way of not fundraising, but get a way of making money to help them with that hikoi. I'm still, I'm still thinking about the woman all involved in all that. Yeah. So you're fighting other women or men? Both. Both. Well, gosh, I can remember an incident when it was supposed to be with a girl, um, unbeknown to us, this this party was in the marquee, you know, and um, yeah, the bottle uh, went the wrong way, and it was all off. So you had to, you know, fight your way out of this marquee or else. Mm. Nine times out of 
well, in in the beginning, I I was a lot of times being dragged out afterwards, wounds licking my wounds, and you know after a few thousand hidings, you begin to get good at it. <laughs> you begin to get you begin to master it. 